வணக்கம் ஸோ ஃபார் வி டிஸ்கஸ் த பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் இன் தி பேசிக் வியூஸ் பர்ச்சேஸ் வியூ அண்ட் ஃபோர் எம்ஆர்பி வியூஸ் அண்ட் கிரியேட்டட் தோஸ் வியூஸ் ஃபார் த பிஸ்னஸ் கேஸ் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் அஸ் அ நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் வி மஸ் கிரியேட் த ஒர்க் ஷெடியூலிங் வியூ திஸ் இஸ் மேண்டேட்ரி ஃபார் இன்னோஸ் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் வேரியஸ் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் இன் தி ஒர்க் ஷெடியூலிங் வியூ அண்ட் கிரியேட் த வியூ ஃபார் தி இன்னோஸ் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஐட்டம்ஸ் இன் த பிஸ்னஸ் கேஸ் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி தி ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் what is the difference between component scrap percentage and the mrp4 view and the assembly scrap percentage in the mrp1 view component scrap is the scrap that will be created while using that specific component in the production for example if the component scrap is 2% then we need to plan 2% of that specific component assembly scrap is the scrap of the product that is being produced that is the header product for example if the assembly scrap is 2% then we need to plan the 2% of all the child materials means the 2% of the product itself will be planned in addition so accordingly child parts also will be planned 2% addition which are the mass data linked in the production version for procurement please note it is for procurement in the case of procurement the header material and the bill of material are linked in the production version because there is no production here so there is no routing material x will be replaced with material y from a specific date how to manage it so here in the mrp view of metal x the follow up metal field right in the metal follow up field we need to fill y and also we have to fill the effective date and then the discontinued indicator must be checked accordingly if a metal must be discontinued in one specific parent product but not in all parent products how to manage it so here discontinuation can be managed in the specific bill of material instead of material master also overall so we will learn this uh, topic while discussing planning process in different scenarios the point is we can manage the change the discontinuation for specific to bill of material for one material only that is possible we continue the course with a discussion on the work scheduling view so far we created basic data 1 and basic data view basic data two views that are organization independent then we created purchasing view which is plant specific and then we created the mrp views they are plant specific and storage location specific now we will discuss the work scheduling view which is a plant specific view in this session we will be discussing about work scheduling view work scheduling view controls how production execution should take place for scheduling view contains details related to different unit of measures production scheduler details production scheduling and serial number profiles production version indicator from there we can go to production version batch management how to manage the batch tolerance details when we do the production order confirmation and receiving the materials also how to maintain the inos production time details here we see the basic unit of measure which was maintained in the basic view of metal master which is the fundamental measurement of the material and then we see the production unit so there are some cases where the basic unit of measurement may be kilogram but when you do the production we may be doing in meters right when we buy some steel we may buy in weight kgs but when you use in the production or in do the production you may do it in the length right so at that time the production unit is different unit so we can use this unit of measurement production unit so what is the relation between basic unit of measure and the production unit we maintain in the additional data tab when you are plan when you are creating the metal master there is a tab called additional tab there we maintain the comparison this one we discussed during basic view details and there is another field called unit of issue unit of issue is the unit in which metal is issued from the warehouse see for example there may be the coils or the wires which is may be bought in bundles right then when they are issued into the production they will be issuing in feet or meters like that they will be issued so unit of issue is different from what is the unit what we buy right so for that which is the unit of measurement they are using we can use this unit of issue if we don't maintain this unit of issue or production unit system will assume the basic unit of measure as the basis for all these details and then we are having this ps material status which is plant specific material status this is the status of the material in the plant we saw 
cross plant status in basic view which is applied to all the plants in the client this plant specific material status is maintained for the specific material this is maintained in sales view purchase view mrp views and here in virtual view also and there is a, a valid from date also can be given there and then we are having this uh, uh, various profiles and also the production schedule details so what is the production supervisor production supervisor is a person or group of personnel who are responsible for the production of a product for example you have a production line there is a person responsible that person name will be here so whenever you take any reports related to some production orders or planned orders you can see uh, you can select this as the selection parameter and see those planned orders and production orders to see the details and then we are having uh, serial number profile so what is the serial number profile it defines the material for which serial number is required for any metal we may use the serial numbers at the time we will be using this uh, profile details so when you are selecting a product with a serial number or during production if you want to issue them if you want to have some uh, warning message or error message we can fix all these details in the serial number profile and then production scheduling profile production scheduling profile is to define the task of the production order that how the system will execute some activities automatically or not for example the system can automatically release the production order as soon as we create the production order or the system can automatically send the shop floor papers for printing when you release the order means when you create we can ask the system to release it automatically or when you are releasing it you can ask the system to print it automatically this will save a lot of time to perform individual functions also we can combine many activities using this production scheduling profile and then we are having the production version details the production version details are available in mrp4 view also it is maintained in production version in the production scheduling view also by clicking the production version the tab we can go into the production version of the material production version is created through transaction c223 and there is another field called critical part critical part is the field where we specify the metal is critical or very important in inventory sampling critical parts are included in complete count data otherwise it is only information field only and then we are having the inspection stock this field specifies whether the metal is subject to quality inspection and whether the goods received is posted to inspection stock this indicator is copied into the production order while doing the production order confirmation to do the goods received and then important field is the batch management here we see two fields one is the batch management other is the batch management plant here the batch management means it is in the mara table which is applicable to the client level batch management plant is in the marc table so this is applicable to the plant level when you want to execute any metal for the batch management we will be using this field you know that batch management triggering and then here <coughs> there is a this batch management can be maintained in different views of metal master for example sales and distribution general plan data purchasing view and the here in work schedule view all the views have the same uh, tick marks right the same things if you change anywhere <coughs> this field value this will be updated in other fields other views also so please take care that it can be done in all this one of these four uh, views sales and distribution general plan data purchasing work schedule and then we are having the field called batch entry what is this batch entry the batch entry indicator refers to the components of the order it is that the components which are used in production of this particular material this field is applicable for to those components it is not for the particular product what we are using in this view but it is for the components used to produce this product this batch entry is used here it will determine whether the batch can be determined when the goods issue is posted at the time the batch number has to be triggered or the batches must be entered in the order before we release the production order or the batch must be entered in the order before the goods issue posted the time we can do it or the batches are determined automatically when the order is released so these options can be taken from this batch entry field and then there is a, a small field called the batch uh, you know the uh, receipt required right it is mentioned there batch recommendation is required this field is that uh, taken into account for the batches which are in the process orders it is not in the discrete manufacturing order so here we have to focus this batch management at client level at a plant level and at the batch entry level. 
batch entries for the components again please note that the batch entry is not for the product what you are maintaining here it is for the components used to produce the products and then we are having the tolerance details under delivery under delivery tolerance means it is the percentage rate that specifies the percentage below which the quantity posted for goods is it may drop below the portion order quantity means at that much percentage only it can be allowed over delivery means it's a percentage by which quantity posted the goods may exceed you no know, beyond that it can be exit and then unlimited means indicator specific whether the quantity actually delivered may be infinitely exceed the required production order quantity this means to restrict then you know, below that some quantity we should not receive above some quantity we should not be able to do it or there is no limit so we can have this so here normal suggestion is to have like a fix some 5 or 10 percent for the over delivery that is a normal general suggestion and also it is suggested not to use this unlimited there should be some limit we have to use it here and uh, putting the under delivery you know it is depends on the, the the production process and also what product we are producing the next is the in-house production details here we are having two kind of production details on the right side you can see lot size independent in-house production time this in-house production time is also maintained in mrp2 view right it is independent of the lot size the left side of this we see setup time, interoperation time, processing time. These are batch based. What is the batch base? The base quantity. Here we just entered this batch base quantity like 100, right? So if you enter some setup time of two hours, then processing time of of a minute per batch and then per unit. Interoperation time between operations is two minutes. As if you mentioned, that is applicable for the, the base quantity we are mentioned. For example, 100 quantities, this is applicable. So depending on the quantity variation, system will take the time when you are planning the planned orders release and also the production order the start dates so here the in-house production time maintained in uh, mrp2 and also which is copied here as a lot size independent whether we release the order for 10 numbers or 1000 numbers same time will be taken but if you use this base quantity according to the size which is varying we can give some close to the real uh, dates for scheduling purpose so routine time is something different which is the exact operating time but here is the overall production time in days to mention it can be useful so whenever we are having this batch variations right for 10 that may be some different time for 100 may be different times for a thousand in different times it's better to use the base quantity under relevant time also please note that these times the in-house production time under these uh, uh, lot size dependent times are used to determine the replenishment lead time also right this is also very important this one we discuss in the mrp3 view where the total time mentioned here as a lot size dependent or the lot size independent they are used to uh, arrive at the replenishment lead time which will be used in the available to promise and other areas also okay we will see now our creation of the virtual daily view so virtual daily view as we told it has to be created for the in-house production item so we take the in-house production item of S001, that is IP1001, and that is the semi-finished product, so HALB, right? We have to select HALB because it is already created. It will come also like that. And then let us go and select the virtual link view and make that as a default settings to view the middle because further we have to create virtual link view for many materials. Take this default setting. Then press enter. The organization details are same. Go inside. So this is the virtual dealing view. So to have the comparison as usual, let us open the related TRNG material. That is SGMC TRNG IP1001, right? So let us fill this. And then here we are having the details here, organization, compare it. So we'll go and select the virtual dealing view. Uh, here we see the details of IP1001. As of now, we are not using most of the fields here. So I will use them accordingly later. Now here we are comparing this S01 and uh, the training material so that we compare and see that. But meantime, I ask you to visit the each field and uh, use the F1 that is the help and understand the description of each field. That will help you to know understand that uh, what is the meaning of each parameter so that later when I explain it, that will be useful to you. So whenever you complete any view, please go through all the fields uh, to have some clear understanding. But the application of these fields, I will do it later. Okay. Right. So this is the production supervisor. 
that who is responsible to uh, the production of the material they will be responsible to schedule and other activities then the scheduling profile is very very important this is a very detailed discussion we need to do i will take it later when you are discussing on production orders and all that time i will explain you this production scheduling profile we will fill the details what is impact also we'll see okay right so like this other parameters also just to go through them and understand them okay right so just now we are not filling anything just we will save it and we will proceed with that okay right these are the the delivery tolerances sorry uh, the delivery tolerance what is showing here is a goods issued from production order please note this is under delivery tolerance coming from production order similarly this is the over delivery tolerance which is coming from production order earlier we saw the delivery tolerances in purchase that is for purchase order but this is for production order these two fields are not the same as we saw there then the production time the in house production time to what is here is coming from mrp2 view other details if we need we can put them which are all the uh, lot size dependent right we completed all save the metal master so metal is saved with the what should we created okay right so please create all the for all the test case materials mean the in house production items what should we be because this is mandatory for production items so in this session we discuss attributes related to what should we be like uh, different unit of measures what is production scheduler what is production scheduling profile serial number profile production version batch management and uh, different tolerance details and how to maintain the operating time details okay just to refresh our uh, understanding of this session let us see some quiz questions for this session so in what scenario production uom will be maintained tolerances are maintained in the virtual dealing view or the same that maintained in the purchasing view what is the difference between in house production time maintained in the mrp2 view and the virtual dealing view what is the metal status maintained in the virtual dealing view is it mandatory to create a virtual dealing view for in house production items we will see the answers in the next session so the assignment for the session is create a virtual dealing view for all in house production materials for the business case please refer to the tr and j metals and adopt the same material so please complete the until the virtual dealing view for in house production items until mrp4 view for all other materials so after understanding various parameters in the virtual dealing view we will discuss parameters in the forecasting view in the next session meanwhile create all the views until what scheduling view the in house production items for the materials we discuss in the business case and also complete the uh, materials up to mrp4 views for the all the purchase items whatever the clarifications you need please put them in the comment section of the respective session they will be answered then and there if you would like to practice the session along with me in this dedicated server please write to me in the email given here info@vigrovin.com okay thank you see you in the next session take care bye